Hello everyone. I'm not sure which video I'm uploading first between this and Super Meat Boy, but today the trading card beta ended. So as if I needed more excuses to play this game, but now I can earn trading cards for it. Ow. You know what? We're going to go YOLO strats all day with Eve right now. Because I sorely need the damage, because I can't stand not two-shotting enemies, I should. I would actually love for this fire to hit me right now. Shoot at me, please, I know you can see me. Everything else, wall hacks. Alright, whatever. I'll leave this health on the floor. Okay. I'm not gonna waste a bomb getting shot at. I'm also not going to intentionally take damage if I don't need to. I will let the Whore of Babylon come to me. And this is not the attack fly that I wish it was. Distant Admiration hovers a little too close for comfort in order to be effective as an attack. But... You know what? It does more damage than Forever Alone, though. So... Ugh. Yeah, it just fucking rick ripped through the Duke of Flies just then. So, yeah. That was a thing. I'm actually curious what does more damage, but, well... Obviously, Mom's Knife does more damage. Lunch, I will take just so... Just so I have more hearts to give away in potential Devil Deals. And I'll fill myself back up, because why not start each floor fresh? So, I now have the money where something discounted in the shop could be worth it. But I don't have the keys for that, and I don't like banking on the chance that things might be discounted. However, a discounted Steam sale would be very nice. Anyways, onwards to Cellar 2. Damn spiders. Oh. Effective use of the Distant Admiration. Them pro skills. And you're dead. Well, at least for these easy floors, my damage is more or less sorted. Uh, come on. There we go. I think with my lack of damage, each one of those enemies in this room would have taken four shots to kill as opposed to the usual three that any other character in this game requires. Come on. There we go. Let's see what's in the curse room. Could use something good. Well, it's a net gain of one soul heart. So I'd say that was worth it. As if curse rooms are n ever not worth checking. Ow. Okay, health up. Bad gas. Uh, yeah, this is not a room where I'm going to be using distant admiration to great effect. Bird. Thank you. Kill stealing son of a bitch. I want to see if I can get a good trinket out of this. It's a little more enticing to be in here than... Uh, you know what? I'm good with the sun card for now. Book of Belial, that's helping to sort out our damage. And I have two bombs and... 
Hmm, there are two potential places. Well, two mo more likely places, and they're both in this room. I check there because the secret room can be connected to the super secret room. I'm not sure which one I want more between My Little Unicorn and Book of Belial. I think I'll take My Little Unicorn. That's probably crazy, and it is a six room cooldown. It'll just let you kill yourself. Thanks for the devil deal and the health up that I can get rid of. <clears throat> now, what did we learn last time? Well, I think either way I'm gonna die here. Yeah. But, that's fine. Got brimstone. Now I have five cents, which means if there's a bomb in this shop, I will buy it, and I think I will actually take my Book of Belial back. Yes. Sorry, compass. Sorry, extra health. But I could use the damage more than I could the slight extra bit of survivability. My little unicorn would be useful. Ah, what am I doing? Why did I do that? Not sure why that devil room was still there. That was strange. Okay, the sun. If I see a room that I don't want to be in, that is when I will use the sun card. Okay, I need one bomb to trade for four. I also need a key so I can get in my item room. Ah, this is a good use. Oops. There, now we only have to fight the last wave. Easy peasy. And now we know where everything is. Unfortunately, I can't go into that curse room. Now, I wonder if I can get both the secret room and all those bombs at once. Nope. But that's okay, I can get all the bombs. And now I can get the secret room. Oh, God. It would help if I was in the right room. Well, we still traded one bomb for two. And I almost have enough money for the shop. I still need a key, though. And my key, I think, will be going to the item room first. Because the shop doesn't necessarily have to have a key in it. And I think I would like the added benefit of items, of a guaranteed item get, than a shop item. So let's just not die here, shall we? Oh, okay. I was gonna- No! Oh wait, I have the dead cat, I don't care. Well, my distant admiration should make this fight go a little more smoothly than it otherwise would. Hang on. Okay, yeah, I can just drop down slightly and have my fly start ripping through Gertie. But I have to pay attention to where it is in its rotation, and I have to time it away from Gertie's fly spawns. So I won't get many opportunities to do that, especially if her flies just keep spawning into me and killing me. So, this could be annoyingly rough. 
And I don't want to use this many lives on one boss that isn't Isaac. Or, we've got the Polaroid now, and I don't know... I don't know for sure how this run's gonna go. So we could very well make it to the chest if some crazy shit starts happening. Just have to keep sweeping the boss. What the fuck? Stop spawning them in my face. They're not supposed to be able to touch me. I know that they are actually supposed to be able to touch me, as far as actual game mechanics are concerned. But they can't normally touch me. So this is really bothering me. Have to actually play this fight normally because apparently the pro strat is not going to work for me right now. Which is pretty frustrating. Ah. Let's not catch a bullet in the face, please. Oh my god. Ugh, this is frustrating. Okay, I can just run into Gertie, that's pro. Okay, I'm gonna just keep doing this. If I die... I don't know. Don't know how I feel about this. Because I shouldn't be dying, because flies aren't able to touch you when you're hugging the top wall. But these flies have been spawned in my face like every time. There we go, finally. Four lives to spare. And I won't be getting a devil deal either. So we'll take our tears up and the High Priestess card. That would have been nice to have before the fight. I'm just glad I didn't lose any health ups doing that nonsense. But that was... That was just pretty much garbage play from my end of things. I still don't really blame the game for essentially playing how it was supposed to play rather than how I know it plays I can't blame the game for using its mechanics properly I can only blame myself for trying to abuse the flaws in the mechanics that I know of sort of can blame the game for not giving me keys, though. Mm. That was just my fault. Stop wasting lives on shitty rooms like these bomb that I can't get. Well, you know what? I'm gonna go in this curse room because I've got the extra lives for it. Okay, now we've got two pieces of guppy. If I could somehow get a paw, I would be very happy. Very happy indeed. But I've only got one heart and one extra life with that heart. So the chances of me even making it through the next floor, let alone getting a devil deal or something 
some manner of way of getting the paw is somewhat unlikely. I've seen crazier things happen. Just not usually to me. Hmm. Especially not when we walk into rooms and eat bullets. Heart, please. More rooms like that, please. Okay. Temperance room that I can't even go near. God damn it. This room could just one shot me, anyways. Or two shot. Whatever. God, what? Okay, it was the top poop that hit me. Let's go again. I probably won't get as good of a damage start that I got last time. I'd be very surprised if the game decided to be that generous again with the damage ups. Not when we're playing as Eve. What is that? Five shots? One, two, three, four, five to kill a blast assist. Brother Bobby will at least aid us with our damage issues, but he will not sort them out for us. It's also a little bit difficult to get working with this pin strategy. And I'm really surprised that Pin actually managed to hit me for once. But that's just how bad I'm playing today, apparently. Alright, got damage up. Would really like to go to the shop or something. And apparently I've already earned one card for this game. I feel like I should just get a free one for all the time I've already sunk into this game. Which means someone like Cobalt Streak would have all the cards unlocked about nine times over if we're going by my, my time being the basis for unlocking all the cards. My time being somewhere around... 200 hours in this game. This is a shit room for me. We're going in here. Hey, Guppy's head. Where were you last time? I needed you. It's two thirds of the way to becoming you. Not just the head, the body as well. Okay, glad I didn't pull the bombs away. We'll not pick that up yet. Come on, just die. Yay, key. Item room. Spelunker's hat, that could be very useful, actually. We'll at least get to find our secret room on every floor. I really wish in times like that it would not play both jingles at once. It's really disorienting when it plays both. And it just doesn't sound good. Take this red patch. Just for the chance of the razor effect. So if I'm gonna get hit anyways, may as well have it. I would not have taken that if I had another trinket. Almost any other trinket I would have taken over that. Hmm. 
Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have picked up that heart yet. Hmm. Okay. I'll fight the boss, and then I might damage myself during said fight. Enough to get into that boss room. Or that. God, what the hell just happened? Whoa. Okay, the left hand interests me a little bit more. Full health does not. Mm. I'm going to take damage without using my bomb. Or maybe I'm not, because the game doesn't want to give me anything to damage me. Okay. Coin purse. No thanks. Alright. Um, you know what? Well, actually, we'll take this soul heart in here. Yes, I need that damage. I believe the pentagram, just having it alone, increases chances of devil deals by a small amount. Or maybe it's by like 30%, I'm not sure. Come at me, Larry. So what do we have in terms of damage ups now? We have meat, and we have the pentagram. Not bad. I think we're probably doing somewhere around Isaac base damage now. Which actually, admittedly, is still pretty bad. Alright, I'll take this full health pill. Cause that's a little bit more useful than the devil. Okay, that'll be good to remember. Cause we came down here with 9 cents, which means there may be an arcade on this floor. In which case, we should be able to maybe play for a blood bag. Or even an IV bag. Be relatively okay with either one, actually. I would prefer to get the blood bag, obviously. Speed and health are always a good thing for me. And I should probably check my cursor, or not curse, secret room first before I do anything. that just to just to blow it up for no benefit whatsoever so glad I haven't seen a psychic maw in some time I hate those things Surprised that only killed one of them. I don't like this room with these hives. They tend to be able to just put rocks between you and them for the, a very long and frustrating amount of time. Okay, we'll open our item room. Book of Sin is not useful. At least not enough to take. We'll leave our hearts on the ground. I'll open that. Tammy's head. Hmm. I have to decide between my cat heads. I think I'm gonna go with Guppy's head. 
the kamikaze flies do double my damage. Whereas, I think Tammy's head probably does somewhere around there for each one of those shots, but the flies are just that tiny bit more in my control than these shots are. Which, they actually, that actually cleared the room, so... <sighs> Items. Why are you so similar to each other and similarly good at what you're doing? Okay, if I can keep getting good uses like that, I might have to stick with Tammy's head. Yeah, it's looking that way. Just have to keep remembering to use it every single room. Oh my god. Oh, don't die, please. Okay. Need to collect some more health. Not gonna... Not gonna grab one heart for a bomb if I have about seven lying around. Not about seven, apparently exactly seven. Okay, I've been to the secret room. I think I want to go to the shop now. Dead bird, you are the most useless thing about this character. Apart from the character herself. Nope! Don't want that. Rage is guard look yeah, garbage. Oh man. I hope I can get the money to afford that. What's this new pill? Speed up. It's pretty much exactly what I wanted. Not that it looks that way from the fact that I just lacked the control to not hit the spikes. But I did want speed up. It'll make my job of dodging a little bit easier than it has been. Now if I could just get flying in addition to that. Uh, that was wasteful. I should never pick up a full heart when I only have half a heart missing. Ah, I also shouldn't st stand next to explodey things. When I have no hearts missing, or at any other point for that matter. Alright, well... Tammy's head did a decent amount of damage right off the bat there. I'm going to pretend that I took all that damage on purpose to become the whore. Damn you, Chad. Good work though, kind of, dead bird. Oh my god. Why did I catch that last bullet? I wish I could see what item even dropped. I didn't catch it. <sighs> oh well. I will see you guys next time. Oh god, please tell me this wasn't hanging out on the screen the whole time. Fuck.